guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to um a really easy and quick technique on a on to how to create a pretty basic mountain um it's really minimal you really only need two brushes and two colors uh well three if you wanted to add a little bit of spice to it um but basically the first thing you want to do um i'm using purple a purple canvas but you can use um, white or whatever you really want but basically you're gonna first need a straight edge brush um, and you're obviously gonna need to wet it and you're gonna use your first base color so I want my uh, mountain to be gray so I'm mixing white and black and if you want your mountain to be like brown or green or color then you're just gonna use this instead of the gray that I'm using right now um, and after I get the good consistency using the water, I'm going to start. So you might want to use your pencil at first to trace the um, outline of the mountain. Um, but I'm just going to go straight in with my straight edge brush. And having a straight edge helps you create like those little points and edges. So um, I'm basically just going to use my straight edge brush and kind of create like that little, the top outline of the mountain. And I'm going to create some little bumps and some mini mountains next door to them um, and using a straight edge brush just makes it a lot easier and maybe I'll add one more and add some little bumps and then after I get my outline I'm just going to paint that all in using that same base color so again I'm going to be using gray but you can use brown or green or whatever color you want your mountain to be so I'm just going to fill that up I'm not going to go all the way down because we're going to cover that up at the end. And after you get that all done and an even base down there, then you can move on. So wait, let me just get that and wait, let me just and now that I like how my um, base is looking I can move on so now you want to use a smaller detailed brush and go in with some black and white and um, again because the gray is composed of black and white I don't really need to mix anything or do anything but basically you're just gonna want to add your highlights and shadows so you're gonna add white to whatever that base color you just created was it should just be like a shade darker I mean a shade lighter sorry about that and you're gonna kind of go in wherever side of the mountain you know how mountains have like two sides to them whichever side you want the sun to kind of face or like hit on that's where you're gonna add your highlight so I'm adding a lighter gray which I mixed this base color with white and I'm just gonna kind of um, lightly add my little highlights so on whatever side I'm just kind of going in like a like a like a drawing motion almost and I'm just kind of creating some little patches of highlighting on just one side of the um, mountain wherever I want the sun to be and after I get a good base there and you don't want to use a lot of product and you definitely don't want to use a lot of water because it's going to kind of show that little texture um, and after you get that um, you want to keep on doing that on the rest of your little like mountains and little hump areas um, so Again, you want to make sure that you do it on the same side because, you know, the sun is going to be facing, um, hitting all of those little humps on the same side. So again, it's very little, it's very subtle because it's just like a little shade lighter. Um, and we're going in kind of almost like you're like coloring something in with like a pencil, but very like aimlessly, not like leaving some spaces in between, very messily. And I am about to get all of my stuff done. Um, and let me just paint this on. Again, it's very like we're leaving a lot of spaces. And after you get that, it's pretty subtle, but um, you also want to add some of the highlights onto the other side um, because there's still going to be some little highlights on the other side where there's like 
mostly shadow so um just to make it look a little bit more like coherent and like less like out of nowhere we're just going to add some highlights to the other sides that we didn't do before um and then after we do that we're going to add our shadows so we're basically doing the same thing that we did with the highlights um, where we added some black to that base color and we're going to put that on the opposite side so you know the side where we just added a little bit of highlight just now we're just going to um add some black to that base color and now add our shadows using the same technique so on the opposite side where i didn't put most of the highlights i only put a little bit i'm just going to add some little sections of darkness and again using very little paint very little product and you're leaving spaces in between and you're again also going to be using a very um small detailed brush and you almost want to use like the side of the brush rather than like the actual tip um, and that's going to help you create like the longer strokes rather than like the pointiness um, again again on like those highlighted sides you can add some little shadows just to make sure it blends really nicely so it doesn't look too dark and crazy um, and again when you use very little product you can hear that dryness right um, and that's what you want um, you don't want to you want to use that little amount of product and that's just going to help give that texture and make it blend a little bit better um, and now that I've added my shadows, I can go back in with a lighter shade of gray. So I'm adding even more white to that base color, more than I added um, before when I first added highlights. And we're going to kind of just go in like certain little areas to um, at, like I'm going to go right at like the, the tip of the mountain and just kind of like hit it a little bit. Like this is just going to go in like those very little areas um, to make it even more highlight -y and bring back some of those highlights. Um, and again, make that dimension pop through, show through a little bit more. So again, very little product like super little, like a way, very, very tiny amount on a tiny, tiny brush and basically very little to no, none, um, um, very little to none water. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. So, um, again, I'm adding this just on the highlighted side. We're kind of just further strengthening that highlight that we first applied. Like that first highlight was kind of just the base so we can map out exactly where we wanted our highlight to be. And now here we're kind of just making some areas of that highlight a bit brighter. Um, and you can even add some brighter highlights onto the opposite side because if you ever like see a mountain there's like a bunch of like roughness like everywhere it's not just like on the two sides so there's going to be some reflection on another side on the other side as well so um yeah and i think i like how that's looking right now i might want to might go in now a little, a little bit more shadow it's kind of like a you're going back and forth until you like the um, amount of shadow and the amount of base and the amount of highlight that is shown um, and you feel like it looks realistic enough um, again I'm just adding a little bit more darkness in certain areas again you want to make sure you're always leaving some space in between um, and that's going to help with the texture and again not using so much water um, when you use more water with paint then it's going to just look a lot smoother so in this case because it's a mountain and mountain has a lot of roughness and texture we do not want um, it to look very smooth so that's why we don't want to use too much water um, now guess what I'm going back in with more highlight uh, you kind of just want to keep on playing with it with that highlight and the shadow um, using like a white mixed with your base color and black with mis bleh, black mixed with your base color until we feel like you have like the perfect look that you're going for and I feel like that's good okay so I finally like how that looks. Um, so now at the very end, you can add, you know, whatever you want around the sun. You can add like, you know, a little background. You can do whatever you want. Um, that's really up to you. Um, just to kind of finish this off so you guys can kind of get a better look of how the mountain is looking. I'm just going to add a horizon. Um, and a, remember, again, a horizon is where the um, the ground and the sun, um, sky meets. So I'm adding that little horizon and then making the land 
Again, you might want to use a ruler for this after your painting dries, but I'm just using plain black for this. Um, you guys can really do whatever. I think it would look really nice to add like um, uh, water around it. And I also made a video regarding how to make realistic water and also how to make realistic clouds and skies. Um, so you guys should check out that video, um, which I think was my first or second video. So um, you can kind of see how to finish this mountain thing up and i'm again just to again finish the painting i'm going to add some tiny little trees at the horizon so i'm just using my small little brush and adding some little bushes and trees at the very bottom just to finish it up you guys this is there's no really technique to this this video was about making a mountain not really anything else um, and just again, finishing up, finishing up, finishing up, finishing up, and yeah, so that is how you make this mountain. Just to kind of go over, you really only need three colors if, um, or two colors if you wanted a gray mountain like mine. Um, and basically, you just start off by using your base color and create, you know, creating that base, um, mountain, right? Filling that in. Plain, and then you're using smaller detailed brush and I'm going to mix white with that base color and on one of the sides of each of those mountains that you're making you're going to um, lightly add little kind of like spots around using the side of your brush very little paint very little water basically no water um, and then on the other side you're going to add that darkness mixing black in with your base color um, and another important thing is to wait for things to dry in between right so once you create like that base um, mountain you might want to wait for it to dry before you add those highlights and those shadows and that's going to help with texture and make sure that it looks like it because it shouldn't look too blended in order for it to look texturized like a mountain and look rough um, but yeah so i hope this helped and i hope you guys created. Bye.